welcome to my channel. My name is Ruda and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be the newest True Botanicals items. I have six of their new releases. A couple of them I've been trying for like a year um, and some of them have been like a couple of months just depending on when they came out. I don't really remember like specifically which item came out when but I this is basically going to be a full review of these items and kind of my opinions on if they did what they claimed to do and then if I think you should spend your hard-earned money on this or not. So the first one I want to talk about is the Ginger Turmeric Hydro Glow Cream. The Drip Botanicals basically for each item has three or four or five like really star main ingredients and those are the ones that I want to focus on because I feel like those are the ones that make it different than other products on the market. This one has milk thistle, it has ginger and turmeric obviously, and then it has tonka bean ferment. Milk thistle is really good for locking your moisture without clogging your pores. So it gives you like a really nice clear and glowy complexion. And then ginger turmeric is obviously anti-inflammatory. It helps smooth and provides like an even skin tone. So tonka bean ferment hydrates and helps boost the luminescence in your skin. And it also improves your skin's firmness. So this also has kind of like a, a scent boost to it in terms of that smell is meant to be uh, energizing and mood lifting. So especially if you're using this for like in the morning when you wake up after you wash your face, that's kind of like a really nice to set off your day with like an uplifting and bright smell. Also another thing that I want to talk about before I dive into how I feel about it is the fact that True Botanicals has clinical research with every product. So this specifically was based on a consumer perception study of 33 women aged 35 to 65 using this twice daily for six weeks. 100% said the product instantly absorbed and layered great under makeup. 100% uh, said the product is breathable on the skin and then 100% said skin looked more luminous, radiant, and glowy. Now I will say from the get-go, I do think that this product being at $110 can be a jump scare to begin with, so that is definitely a con for me. I've had this for about two or three months and I use it pretty much every day and I still have some in here. So overall, I do think that my face every time that I use it is definitely hydrated, it's definitely glowy. Um, I've been pretty lazy and just using this after like washing my face, sometimes I'm even skipping a serum. And I have not noticed my skin getting like dry or looking dull. This definitely does what it says it should be doing. I do enjoy the anti-inflammatory properties of this, obviously. That's really good for making sure that you are fighting the signs of aging because naturally, unless you're getting Botox, your skin is aging. So I would rate this a eight out of 10, actually. I really like this. The price kind of knocks it down a point. And also what knocks it down a point is the fact that it is pretty thin in terms of if you have really dry skin, you're gonna want something a little bit thicker. This is definitely really good for summertime, for when it's hot outside, when you want something to really absorb quickly into your skin. And I will agree that this has been really amazing under makeup. I really like it, it dries in fast. I'm not worrying about rubbing it in a whole bunch. So it's a good slap on and continue on to what you're doing. I do enjoy that about that. And this is definitely something that I will repurchase. Okay, next we have the Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum. This is what the bottle looks like. See, I have like just the tiniest product left. I think I've been using this for maybe six months. This is $90 and it has primrose, it has peptilium, and then it has exanthin, astaxanthin. Astaxanthin? Astaxanthin? I don't speak English, don't ask me. Primrose is anti-inflammatory, which is really good, so it soothes and deeply moisturizes the skin. Tilium is a phytoretinol, which a phytoretinol, if you don't know what that means, is an umbrella term for like a more natural alternative to retinol, because retinol in itself tends to have a lot of um, sensitizing properties to it. When they say to start retinol, they say to kind of start it like a couple times a week and then build it up into your system so that your skin is not having breakouts, redness, shedding, and things like that. So it being a more natural group of things that mimics retinol, it is less sensitizing to your skin. It is clinically proven to be two times faster and better than traditional retinol without the sensitizing side effects. And then astaxanthin is an antioxidant uh, that helps improve the look and feel of texture and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This also was clinically third party tested and 100% of people saw a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles when using this. I'm obsessed with this product. So they had a, it was a, like an overnight mask type of situation when this first came out and they reformulated it into a sleep serum. So now it goes as the first layer of your skincare and then things get built up upon it to kind of push it in further and lock it in more. I feel like this does a really good job of 
really plumping my skin. And retinol is really good for resurfacing the skin and basically making you look younger. I would definitely repurchase this for sure, but I do think that I would kind of stagger it like Chibula one time and then this one the other time because I love Chibula so much. And I, I'm not willing to give up one, but I do like this and I would totally like kind of rotate them. So I would give this an 8 out of 10 as well. The next product is more of like a skin, like a body skin product. It is their Rescue Balm. It's the Everything Rescue Balm. So this retails for $38 and it has calendula oil, it has eucalyptus and helichrysum oil, and then it has illipin butter. So calendula oil is really nice because it is from a regenerative farm, which means that the soil that they plant this in is way more nutrient dense, which then provides like a better product. Also regenerative farming is so much better for the planet. Calendula is really good for soothing the skin and it's really good for soothing uh, especially sensitized and irritated skin. Eucalyptus and helichrysum oil helps the appearance of inflammation and commonly used to promote healthy glow, is good for aromatherapy and has therapeutic benefits. Eucalyptus is great for calming. So having eucalyptus as a sensory thing to this makes a big difference and I really do enjoy that. Elipe butter is high in vitamin A and E and helps maintain the appearance of being and feeling supple and moisturized. Uh, vitamins A and E are just really good for the skin. Clinical results says 97% of participants said the appearance of dry skin has been improved or eliminated after just one use. 97% of participants said that the areas of dry skin feel and appear repaired instantly. And then 97% of participants said their skin looked and felt smoother instantly. And then 100% participants said their skin immediately felt returned to a healthy state after just one use. So it's really good at kind of rebalancing. I like it. I have dry skin in a lot of places, specifically my hands, and this is so good. And it's a really nice and thicky, like obviously balm, but it's just so nice and luxurious and it sinks in so well and it hydrates the skin so, so well. Apply this to my um, like manicure. So good for the heels, so good for when your hands are just so dry and you know like other creams just like don't penetrate far enough into the skin and it, it feels good for a little bit, but this is like really deeply moisturizing and I like that. I loved using this in the winter um, on my lips as well. I get pretty dry lips when it's like cold and dry outside. My whole body likes this and I would totally purchase it. And honestly, like a little goes a long way because it's so thick. Like I feel like I will use this for another year. So at $38 and for how long you can use this, 10 out of 10. Price is good. Tin is good, you can infinitely recycle tin and just like super easy to throw into like your purse or anything. You don't have to worry about it breaking. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. So the next thing is the niacinamide biotin booster. So if you've ever used any of True Botanicals, you'll know that they love their powders. There's an antioxidant powder that they have, a vitamin C one, and then they came out with the niacinamide and biotin booster. This obviously has only two ingredients. So the niacinamide is B3 vitamin that helps reduce redness, minimize appearance of pores, regulate sebum production, and supports skin barrier. And then biotin is a B-complex vitamin that helps strengthen skin and evens out complexion. When applied directly to the skin, it helps nourish, improve hydration, and smooths. So this is good for oily and combination skin. It is really good at reducing pores. I don't really have oily skin and I don't really have large pores, so for me using this didn't really have very visible effects. This is a little bit of like a grittier texture than their vitamin C, which is my favorite thing in the world. This is something that I've, I've had to kind of like swap them around. You can also use this at nighttime and the vitamin C during the day as long as you're wearing sunscreen. I just have not felt myself gravitate toward this as much because I, like I said, I don't have really oily skin and I, like I said, I don't really have large pores. So for me, those are not like two very important things. When it was tested, it's at 90% saw a significant improvement in skin barrier function, hyperpigmentation, and skin moisture. And 100% of participants saw a significant improvement in facial pores. So this works pretty fast which is really nice for people who struggle with those things. It is $95, but these powders last so long because you are so in control of how much you use. You really don't need much. It says one to two shakes into your favorite serum, moisturizer, or mask, or even water. And then you can use it on, on your face and neck morning and night. So it just depends on how you want to incorporate that into your routine. For me, this was like a five out of 10 but it's because I don't have those problems. The fifth item that I wanna talk about is going to be the at-home facialist peel. 
I used to really like their resurfacing mask that they had. It had like a really nice jiggly formula, which I really enjoy. I don't know, something about textures just like makes me happy if it's a good texture. Uh, this also has the same kind of jiggly vibe and it's now like a, it's like a jelly. Ooh, I like it. And then actually their brush is really, really nice as well. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The angle of this. Mm, so great. Picks up product. Also really great. I used to really like their other resurfacing mask, but when this came out, uh, I was even more obsessed. It's just that good. The at-home facials peel is $68. Now that might be, ooh, jump scare in the beginning, but when you think about how expensive it is to go get a facial nowadays, like I live in Nashville, and to get a facial with any kind of peel in it is at least $100. Get this. You can do this every week for $68. See how much money you're saving? And it does the exact same thing as something that they would use on you at a regular facial. I mean, not like a super, super peel where your skin comes off. Okay, so it has 27.2% AHA, BHA, PHA, and THX. Um, it has an electrolyte mineral complex, and then it has aloe leaf juice, rosemary, and leafy butter. This has 27.2% AHA, BHA, PHA, and THX. That is the exfoliant part of this product. Exfoliating is amazing. And so this essentially makes your skin smoother, glowier, happier, healthier, clearer, more even toned, all the good stuff. And then the electrolyte mineral complex helps draw moisture into the skin and helps you have a glassy glow, which that part is like the soothing aspect of this. It's making sure that you're getting less irritated from a chemical exfoliant, and then the aloe leaf juice, rosemary, and alipe butter also. It protects you from the redness, the irritation, and helps with the soothing of the skin and nourishing the skin post that chemical reaction. It was also clinically um, tested. 97% of participants said their skin texture was instantly improved. 97% of participants saw a highly, a highly significant improvement in fine lines and wrinkles after just one use. 97% um, of participants said their skin feels smooth, nourished, and more hydrated, and then 100% of participants said their skin was instantly brighter, more clear, and radiant. You do wash away a lot of the dead skin once you use something like that, and then you're washing that mask off, so definitely a very instant, like a very instant gratifying product to use, and then also over time, your skin is just not getting as built up, and it will even out in complexion, you will have less fine lines, and it's just better for your skin, less breakouts and things like that. So this product for me, 10 out of 10, I love it, it's great. And I've tried other resurfacing products, exfoliating products in the past as well, and nothing does as good as this. I feel like it's the combination of the four different uh, exfoliants that's really nice and it actually does a really good job. The last thing that I wanna talk about is the Microbiome Enzyme Essence. Uh, as a texture girly, this liquid is gold. I just, I mean, I love water to begin with, but having a product like this that's like a thickier, glidier, toner type of situation, Mm, it just is so satisfying to like put that thickness on your face and like have it sink in it just feels so so good I've had this for Definitely like a year. I mean like this is coming off the bottle. Anyways, this has papaya and pineapple enzymes It has wildly sourced finger lime and then it has buckwheat ferment these ingredients Love it. These ingredients are so good Anytime I will see anything buckwheat instantly add to cart. Here's my card. I love buckwheat as foreign people, we eat that shit. It's so good. So good in so many ways for you. So having it in a skincare product is a must. If you don't have buckwheat in your products, get away from me. The pineapple and papaya enzymes soften and naturally exfoliate by shedding dead skin layers on the surface, which we like that. This is a really good, like, gentle form of it. It's good to just very gently get rid of what's on your face, like, on a daily basis so it doesn't accumulate as much. So the wild source... Finger lime, fun word to say, is rich in AHAs, which is alpha hydroxy acids. So it helps soften and exfoliate the skin even further. We like to see it. Same thing, it breaks down dead skin cells, it helps you get rid of them. And it sheds the outermost layer of dry skin, which helps absorption of other water and emollient. So basically, this allows for the products that you're putting on your skin to penetrate deeper. And then the buckwheat ferment is a prebiotic, which we love it, which helps to balance, support, and nourish the skin microbiome, which is like the most important part of your skin. So you want to support your skin barrier. 
and microbiome as much as you can. This is a very good anti-aging product as well because as you age, your cell turnover decreases and then something like this, which is a micro exfoliator, um, it basically promotes the cell turnover because it is getting rid of those old skin cells and it is really good at not disrupting your microbiome. So this is just a beautiful first step and I love it so much. I tried to not use a ton of it because I love it so much and it does retail for $82 so it is expensive. But for really allowing your other products to penetrate deeper, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. You shake a couple of the shakes into your hands and you put it on your skin and you then put on your serums and all of that stuff. It smells nice, it smells clean, it smells earthy, which are like are my, my favorite smells when it comes to skincare. And they also did a clinical trial. It was based on a 28 day clinical study of 35 women aged 25 to 65 twice daily use. And it says 86% said my skin feels baby soft, 90% said my skin looks dewy after using this product, and then 93% said my skin is healthier looking. So in my opinion, it really does what it says it's gonna do, and I am obsessed with that, and I would totally buy it. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And so to wrap up all of my ranting here, I really appreciate True Botanicals. The con for me will always be the price. I will always be very realistic about the fact that it is expensive. I buy it online during a sale with a discount code. I'm always trying to find some sort of discount code. Uh, I'll see if I can find one. I think I have one somewhere. I think it gets you like 15% off your first order. So if you're interested in that, definitely check the description box below. It'll have all the information, have all of these products linked. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.